Guys, also, I'm thinking, I'm not sure, but I'm thinking of making an MMO. I might make an MMO. What do you guys feel about that? Is that... Like, I don't have an idea for a game, but I would like to make an MMO. So, what do you guys think? I'll do all my own models, you know, what it, zombies, whatever it is. You know, like The Last of Us. I'll make The Last of Us 2. What do you guys think about that? I could do it. I have all the technical skills. I've already been part of a video game development team. I'm an expert at 3D modeling and texturing. I'm a masterful artificial intelligence software developer. I've already created an engine. Um, I could for sure get into the, all the rendering and stuff. That's no big deal for me. It's, it falls within my skill set easily. And I'd be able to produce all my own music for my own MMO. What happened to singing? It's still on the list. I'm adding possibly MMO to that list as well. There are no limits. There are no limits. I have no limits. That's what you guys have to understand. There are no limits. Because I'm going to be alive long after all of you are dead. I'm probably going to live to 130 years old. So I've got time for all this stuff. It's not going to happen today, but it's a slow progression. It's not true old days. Some MMOs are easier than others. Like think of Counter-Strike. You know, you make your four or five maps. You make your four or five maps. You make your two, a terrorist model, counter-terrorist model. You set up all the physics and the hitboxes. You know, I can make an FPS. No, I'm not going to be able to make World of Warcraft with entire continents and stuff. Although it's possible, but that, I mean that's getting that's getting a little a little too big to be realistic. But you know, just three or four maps, a basic FPS. FPS maps are not that big. I've actually made a video game FPS map on Unreal Engine using the Unreal Video Game Editor. You can make your own FPS maps. Um, I made a map in like a weekend for my video game development class in college. I actually took Video Game Development 101 um, with Professor Berzinski and I actually had to develop a map. It is a MMO, MMORPG. No, a FPS is not extremely complicated to make. Not for me. Oh, yeah, you're right about that. The the hit registration, the networking, all that stuff would be hard. I agree with that. But, you know, that's not 20 years hard. One guy does all the software development. You know that the original copy of World of Warcraft? I, read, I, I saw a documentary about it. The original copy of World of Warcraft, they made in, like, two months. The original game. Two months. And they coded it from the ground up one software developer. And they had a bunch of artists and stuff, and they worked together. A team of, like, seven guys. In, like, two or three months, they made World of Warcraft. Now, the game has expanded way beyond that since then. But one guy could make what seven guys make in seven amount, seven times the time. But if it's part-time, you know, it'd be 50 times. So instead of two months, now it's 100 months. Big deal. Big deal. 100 months? Um, that's 10 years. In 10 years, you can make World of Warcraft. I just did the math right there. So it is totally doable. And I have more than 10 years. I'm 30 years old. I'm going to live another 100 years. I've got 100 years to do it. I can make one of the most incredible MMOs of all time. If I just work on it a little bit for the next 100 years, it'll get done. It's that simple. You guys think everything's impossible because you think too small. You don't stretch stuff out. You don't spread it out and project for years and 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 years. Suddenly everything becomes possible. You just got to expand your timeline. Not to mention 
there could be a time when I do have employees and they can help me pick up and speed up all my ideas. You know, if I find if I get really wealthy, um, I could hire some really smart people to work under me and bring up up some of these projects faster. That could really jumpstart things for me. So you can't weigh out the possibility of me getting help in the future if I become rich from some of my ideas. But you're right. I, I guess um, when I said MMO, I didn't say MMORPG. I said Massive Multiplayer Online Game. There are MMOs and there are MMORPGs. You automatically, when I said MMO, assumed RPG. There are MMO FPS and MMORPG. You can look it up. So I meant MMO is in you know, something more basic. Um, and I, I mentioned the example of Last of Us. Last of Us is not as expansive and, you know, unbelievably vast as World of Warcraft. The Last of Us is a linear game with MMO version. It's more of a storyline game, but it has an MMO version in that you could probably have, like, an FPS side to the game with, like, challenge modes and, and teams. I didn't say MMORPG. Go, go look it up. And my example was The Last of Us. The Last of Us is not an MMORPG. I would create something like, you know, the original 007 for N64. You would have, um, well, that's not even an online game, though. But it'd be the same type of thing. You'd have your storyline mode where you, you conquer levels like Hitman. And then you'd also have your multiplayer online version. I think most games are like that. Most FPS games have like a a campaign mode. So I'd have a campaign mode and then multiplayer mode. Old days. I'm already a master at 3D art. I've already been in 3D art competitions. I'm considered one of the great 3D modelers within the 3D community. Um... I don't need to master 3D art, I already have. But I don't need to work with somebody to make a dank game. I would want to do all the software development myself. Because I would make it superior, for me at least. Um, I couldn't work with another software developer. Your programming style wouldn't fit with mine. And your bugs I would never be able to find. I wouldn't want to try to find somebody else's bugs. But my bugs, I'm a master at finding my own bugs. Because I have a mental map of all the software I develop, and so it's easy for me to find out where I screwed up. But, I would be willing to work with people like, like somebody who develops, you know, 3D models, like what you're saying. I'd, I'd flip roles with you. I'd be willing to partner up having somebody doing backgrounds or somebody doing um, the lighting effects or something in my engine. Alright, if I do an MMORPG, and I, I would possibly be willing to do that, I'd develop, just like Notch did, um, Minecraft is an MMORPG. It's a role-playing game, and it's an MMO. And it was made by one guy. So it is possible to do this. It could be um, a rendered game that is created through algorithms. Um, it could be the same type of concept as Minecraft, where the entire world is created through random algorithms, just like Notch did. But I could make a totally different twist on it, so it's not like Minecraft, but it's the same concept, and it can be done by one person. I don't need to pick one skill in my life, and I'm not spreading myself too thin. I told you that these types of projects are part of a large rotation of projects that don't affect my primary projects because they're part of my um, discretionary time. And I set discretionary time daily because I owe myself that. I work hard every day, but then there are certain windows of time that I label as discretionary time. And every successful person who's a master at time management has a certain amount of time each day that's discretionary time. Whether they want to do gardening or play the piano, or, you know, go out for a walk with their dog. 
you can't just work all the time, every day, day in, day out. You will die an early grave doing that. So, you know, doing an MMO, developing art, being a sculptor, being a painter, all these things are things that I have a talent for and I can do in my lifetime, but it's not going to interfere with my work. I'm still going to be able to make big money doing certain projects with the lion's share of my time, but my time is divided into pie slices. It's not just as simple as you have sleep and work and that's your life. You have sleep and then you have work and then you have relaxation and you have family time blah blah blah. It, it gets divided up. That's not spreading yourself thin if in one category dividing up your hobbies you have a lot of different things you do as hobbies. And I'm telling you that I master things quicker than others and you know I'm not I'm not going to apologize for that. It's been my experience. It's just a fact. And I have mastered now, you know, dozens of different areas of expertise. And I will be able to master video game development. And I think I will do that now. I'm not going to make you 3D art because my time is too precious to waste making somebody else 3D art for their dream. I have my own dreams. I'm not for sale. And I disagree that you have to dedicate your entire life to master one thing. I believe that you get faster and more efficient with time, but just having mastery in terms of can you execute, you can get that very quickly, especially if you are just naturally very talented at things. There is no stopping me. I can tell you this, money is not going to be an object to me. Money is going to just pour out in my life and it's just not going to matter. I'll, I'll only use it as a tool to help others. And as such, all these things I tell you guys that I'm going to be able to do, that I will be able to enjoy making music, making a video game, etc. Making a robot army. That's going to be my reward for just being very disciplined and hardworking and not having to worry about a day job. I'm not flipping burgers all day. And using the time I save from that, I'll be able to um, make music and, and make a video game. I'm not saying I'll make 10 MMOs either. You know, I, I say realistic goals. And I also said I would be willing to hire people for that. And I'd be willing to hire people for other things. But later, that will come. The first thing is, you know, writing down and planning out what you want. And then, as money comes and resources come, you can start delegating. And that's how I'll be able to do all these things. Look at Richard Branson. He's built airlines and all kinds of stuff. Because he's got like thousands of employees. Someday I can have thousands of employees. So I can do all this stuff. Honestly, I don't know what kind of money there is to be made in it. You know, there's so many games out there. It's so saturated. If I released a game, you know, let's say I made... 50,000 sales for, I don't know, how much do people buy games for nowadays? Like 30 bucks? I mean, I just don't know if there's enough money in it. Everybody wants free to play now. And honestly, like, it's too much work that I'm not going to make a lot of money. So, I don't know if I want to make a game enough to where I'd be willing to make it and not make a lot. Also, my concern is there are so many games, and gamers tend to jump from one game to the next. I don't want a game that everybody's going to play for a couple weeks and, se and then be done with it. You know, if my game were guaranteed to get you know, played for 20 years, then I'd be willing to do it. You know, 20, 30 years are still a large fan base. But if people are just going to buy my game, play it, 
until they beat the game and then be done with it. And nobody will ever have heard of it in five years. I don't, I don't think that's worth it. I want a game that's going to last. Like with my robot project, that's going to last me forever. The robot will continue to be able to do more and more things and help me out. The robot will build more robots. I'll be able to sell those robots. It's just the gift that keeps on giving. With a game, I feel like I'd make a bunch of money all at once and then make nothing after that. And that's not something I'm willing to do. I want to make something that's going to be a long-term source of income. So I'm not I'm not committed to making a game yet. Unless if it's such a such a cool game for me to play that it'd be worth it to make it even for free. Then I'd do it. But right now it'd be it'd be still centered on, you know, I want to get I want to make a lot of money because that that would be a large part of the driving factor. So maybe I'm not passionate enough. I mean, why would I be super passionate? I don't even have the idea for the game yet. I just think it'd be cool to do it in general. And I'd like to make a game just to say I have and know I have just for the experience of it. You know what? Screw it. Let's just do it, guys. Um, Alright. I am going to build a video game. Um, What kind of game should I build? Let me see. Surely something within myself has been... Learning to do it. Guys, we gotta think of it right now. We gotta come up with a game idea right now. I'm gonna do it, you know. I wanna have the best life possible. And that means, you know... What have you done with your life? You haven't at least made one game. Come on. And I need to stop being greedy. If, you know, 300,000 people play my game, I've done my part. I entertain them. I don't need people to play it for 20 years. That's fine. You know, as long as it has a place in their heart and I entertained a lot of people and I did something that I can be proud of and it's an expression and it it can have a good message too. Who knows? I got to do it.